This article is about the synthetic compounds. For minerals see perovskite. A perovskite is any material with the same type of crystal structure as calcium titanium oxide, known as the perovskite structure, or XIIA2 plus VIG4 plus X2 minus 3 with the oxygen in the face centers. Perovskites take the name from the mineral, which was first discovered in the Ural Mountains of Russia by Gustav Rose in 1839 and is named after Russian mineralogist L.A. Perovsky. The general chemical formula for perovskite compounds is ABX3, where A and B are two cations of very different sizes, and X is an anion that bonds to both. The A atoms are larger than the B atoms. The ideal cubic symmetry structure or has the B cation in six-fold coordination, surrounded by an octahedron of anions, and the A cation in twelve-fold cuboctahedral coordination. The relative ion size requirements for stability of the cubic structure are quite stringent, so slight buckling and distortion can produce several lower symmetry distorted versions in which the coordination numbers of A cations, B cations of both are reduced. Natural compounds with this structure are perovskite, low pyrite, and the silicate perovskite bridgmanite structure. The perovskite structure is adopted by many oxides that have the chemical formula ABO3. In the idealized cubic unit cell of such a compound, type A atom sits at cube corner positions. Type B atom sits at body center position and oxygen atoms sit at face centered positions. The relative ion size requirements for stability of the cubic structure are quite stringent, so slight buckling and distortion can produce several lower symmetry distorted versions, in which the coordination numbers of A cations, B cations of both are reduced. Tilting of the BO6 octahedra reduces the coordination of an undersized A cation from 12 to as low as 8. Conversely, off-centering of an undersized B cation within its octahedron allows it to attain a stable bonding pattern. The resulting electric dipole is responsible for the property of ferroelectricity and shown by perovskites such as barium titanate that distort in this fashion. The orthorhombic and tetragonal phases are most common non-cubic variants. Complex perovskite structures contain two different B-site cations. This results in the possibility of ordered and disordered variants. Common occurrence. The most common mineral in the earth is bridgmanite, a magnesium-rich silicate which adopts the perovskite structure at high pressure. As pressure increases, the silicon oxide minus tetrahedral units in the dominant silica-bearing minerals become unstable compared with silicon oxide minus octahedral units. At the pressure and temperature conditions, of the lower mantle. The most abundant material is a perovskite structured mineral with the formula silicon oxide, with the second most abundant material likely the rock salt structured O-oxide, periclase. At the high pressure conditions of the Earth's lower mantle, the pyroxene institite, magnesium metasilicate, transforms into a denser perovskite structured polymorph. This phase may be the most common mineral in the Earth. This phase has the orthorhombically distorted perovskite structure that is stable at pressures from tilde 24 gigapascals to tilde 110 gigapascals. However, it cannot be transported from depths of several hundred km to the Earth's surface without transforming back into less dense materials. At higher pressures, magnesium metasilicate perovskite transforms forms to post perovskite. Although the most common perovskite compounds contain oxygen, there are few perovskite compounds that form without oxygen. Fluoride perovskite such as NAMGF3 are well known. A large family of metallic perovskite compounds can be represented by RT3M. The metalloids occupy the octahedrally coordinated B sites in these compounds. 
RPD3B, RH3B and CERU3C are examples. MGCNI3 is a metallic perovskite compound and has received lot of attention because of its superconducting properties. An even more exotic type of perovskite is represented by the mixed oxide orides of C's and RB, such as C's 3 gold 2 oxide, which contain large alkali cations in the traditional anion sites bonded to O2- and O- anions. Material properties. Perovskite materials exhibit many interesting and intriguing properties from both the theoretical and the application point of view. Colossal magnet resistance, ferroelectricity, superconductivity, charge ordering, spin dependent transport, high thermopower, and the interplay of structural, magnetic, and transport properties are commonly observed features in this family. These compounds are used to senses and catalyst electrodes in certain types of fuel cells and are candidates for memory devices and spintronics. Applications Many superconducting ceramic materials have perovskite-like structures, often with three or more metals including copper, and some oxygen positions left vacant. One prime example is yttrium barium copper oxide which can be insulating a superconducting depending on the oxygen content. Chemical engineers are considering a cobalt-based perovskite material as a replacement for platinum in catalytic converters in diesel vehicles. Applications Physical properties of interest to materials science among perovskites include superconductivity, magnet resistance, ionic conductivity, and a multitude of dielectric properties, which are of great importance in microelectronics and telecommunication. Because of the flexibility of bond angles inherent in the perovskite structure there are many different types of distortions which can occur from the ideal structure. These include tilting of the octahedra, displacements of the cations out of the centers of the coordination polyhedra, and distortions of the octahedra driven by electronic factors. Photovoltaic synthetic perovskites have been identified as possible inexpensive base materials for high efficiency commercial photovoltaics they showed a conversion efficiency of up to 15 percent and can be manufactured using the same thin film manufacturing techniques as that used for thin film silicon solar cells Methyl ammonium tin halides and methyl ammonium lead halides are of interest for use in dye sensitized solar cells. In 2016, power conversion efficiency have reached 21%. In July 2016, a team of researchers led by Dr. Alexander Weber Bargioni demonstrated that perovskite PV cells could reach a theoretical peak efficiency of 31%. Among the methyl ammonium halides studied so far, the most common is the methyl ammonium lead triiodide CH3 and H3 lead 1 iodide. 3. It has a high charge carrier mobility and charge carrier lifetime that allow light-generated electrons and holes to move far enough to be extracted as current, instead of losing their energy as heat within the cell. CH3 and H3 lead 1 iodide 3 effective diffusion lengths are some 100 nanometers for both electrons and holes. Methyl ammonium halides are deposited by low temperature solution methods. Other low temperature solution processed films tend to have considerably smaller diffusion lengths. Strang say al. described nanostructured cells using a mixed methyl ammonium lead halide and demonstrated one amorphous thin film solar cell with an 11.4% conversion efficiency, and another that reached 15.4% using vacuum evaporation. The film thickness of about 500 to 600 nanometers implies that the electron and hole diffusion lengths were at least of this order. They measured values of the diffusion length exceeding 1 micrometer for the mixed perovskite, an order of magnitude greater than the 100 nanometers for the pure iodide. 
They also showed that carrier lifetimes in the mixed perovskite are longer than in the pure iodide. For CH3 and H3 lead 1 iodide 3 open circuit voltage typically approaches 1 volt, while for CH3 and H3 lead 1 iodide 3 with low Cl content, VOC and GT, 1.1 volts has been reported, because the band gaps of both 1.55 electron volts, VOC to EG ratios are higher than usually observed for similar third generation cells with wider band gap perovskites VOC up to 1.3 volts has been demonstrated the technique offers the potential of low cost because of the low temperature solution methods and the absence of rare elements cell durability is currently insufficient for commercial use planar heterojunction perovskite solar cells can be manufactured in simplified device architectures using only vapor deposition. This technique produces 15% solar to electrical power conversion as measured under simulated full sunlight. Lasers also in 2008 researchers demonstrated that perovskite can generate laser light. LALO-3 doped with neodymium gave laser emission at 1080 nanometers. In 2014 it was shown that mixed methyl ammonium lead halide cells fashioned into optically pumped vertical cavity surface emitting lasers convert visible pump light to near IR laser light with a 70% efficiency. Light-emitting diodes, due to the high photoluminescence quantum efficiencies, perovskites may be good candidates for use in light-emitting diodes. However, the propensity for radiative recombination has mostly been observed at liquid nitrogen temperature. Photoelectrolysis In September 2014, researchers of EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland reported achieving water electrolysis at 12.3% efficiency in a highly efficient and low-cost water-splitting cell using perovskite. Photovoltaics 